Number 10. The Incredible Bigfoot Sighting Captured on Film in 1967 The 1967 Patterson-Gimlin footage cemented Bigfoot status in American legend more than any other sighting in history. Although Sasquatch was well known to several indigenous groups in North America and sightings were recorded in American newspapers as early as the late 1800s, there was no genuine footage of the beast until Roger Patterson and Bob Gimlin's faded trip. In 1967, these two guys who were riding their horses across Northern California filmed less than 60 seconds of a big hairy creature walking across the rocky terrain. As it walked through the camera shot, the beast looked back at the men. The film's accuracy is still a hotly debated topic. Even with this enhanced image, it's difficult to tell between the actual thing and a person wearing a gorilla suit. Number 9. Eric Shipton's Photos of the Mount Everest Yeti Footprints Yeti is thought to be a lone creature that roams the Himalayan icy mountains, much like the North American Bigfoot. Despite being mostly accepted as a legend by the Sherpa, a Tibetan ethnic group, Mountaineers in the area have documented numerous sightings over the past two centuries, igniting discussions on whether or not the enigmatic creature exists. While traversing the Himalayas in 1951, British explorer Eric Earl Shipton and his companion came across a set of unusual tracks in the Menlung Basin snow at a height of roughly 15 to 16,000 feet, which was a remarkable sight. Because the mountaineers lacked the instruments needed to measure the footprints, they made do with what they had – an ice pick, a rucksack, and his friend's left boot. Shipton took several pictures, while the pair carefully inspected their findings. The footprint's toes were bizarrely shaped, and the big toe was lower and larger than one could anticipate in a human foot. Even if it had been a human, how had the person survived walking barefoot through the snow in sub-zero temperatures? What's your thought on this? do share. For a long time, the explorer followed the 13-inch footsteps and took multiple detailed images. Shipton's unusual photos started circulating once the expedition team arrived back in Britain. Taking advantage of the widespread fascination with Bigfoot in 2014, Christie's Auction House in London sold the original photo for close to $5,000. Number 8. Marble Mountain Bigfoot In June 2001, a group of teenagers who were members of the Campus Life Youth Club spotted a Bigfoot. Jim Mills, who was the group's leader, captured the footage. The footage was shot in the Marble Mountains in Northwest California, and it depicts the longest known Bigfoot sighting to date. The sighting happened after the group discovered some strange woodland buildings, including a den made of big branches and twigs. Minutes into the film, the group spots a dark figure on top of the mountain more than 750 kilometers away from the group. The creature was captured on camera for three minutes as it descended the rocky ridge. Due to unusual body proportions and limb movements, it is clear that the creature does not behave humanly. The Bigfoot's height was guessed to be 9 feet. When the Sasquatch discovered that it has been captured, it started to bounce up and down, scream, push a tree, and became frightened. Even though the footage was shot from a great distance, scientists claim that technology has allowed them to recognize numerous non-human traits. Shocking! What would you do if you encountered Bigfoot? Would you still be brave enough to shoot? Number 7. Provo Canyon Bigfoot Bigfoot's supposed existence had once again been a topic of discussion, and some people were left wondering if the creature was loose in their backyard after a report of a sighting in Provo Canyon in October 2012. YouTube user Beardcard, who did not want his identity made public, said he and several companions were camping in Provo Canyon near Squaw Peak and Little Rock Canyon Overlook when they observed some deer up on a hill. They started shooting after getting a closer look and thinking they had seen a bear in the woods. The shaky footage quickly came to an end when the creature reared up on two legs and the hikers fled. Some claim the film is a fraud while Bigfoot enthusiasts call it one of the most lifelike Bigfoot expeditions of all time. There is controversy over whether the creature is real or not. We give you the evidence. Is Bigfoot real? You decide. Number 6. Independence Day Bigfoot This Bigfoot sighting has an unknown origin, but it reveals several novel Bigfoot traits, most notably their parenting skills. Besides, 
This video is also controversial, just like others. The video, which was allegedly shot on July 4th, Independence Day, depicts a mother Bigfoot scooting away from the person filming her while clutching a young Bigfoot, much like a human mother would hurry her infant out of danger. Following the viewing of the film, some have asserted that the Bigfoot is walking with the distinctive Bigfoot stride, which is challenging for a human wearing a costume to replicate due to the way the human knee and thigh are connected. Many argue that the baby Bigfoot appears to move naturally rather than mechanically. Share your thoughts on this. Number 5. Allegheny Bigfoot The residents of Warren County were so convinced that Sasquatch dwelled in the Allegheny National Forest that a television episode of the show Finding Bigfoot was filmed there and the show's creators even held one of their famous town hall meetings in Warren. The people of Warren County were thrilled to be a part of the sixth season of this Animal Planet television program, which has sparked a countywide discussion about whether or not there is a squatch in these woods. The Jacobs photos were what the experts found interesting. On September 16, 2007, R. Jacobs, a local, claimed to have captured photographs of what he believes to be Bigfoot on his trail camera. The first few pictures show bear cubs, and the later pictures show what appears to be a juvenile squatch. While the PA Game Commission vehemently disputes the existence of Bigfoot in the ANF and asserts that the photographs are of a mangy bear, the locals are aware that this is untrue. Seems like the locals had fun in this search, no? Number 4. A Big Footprint in Pennsylvania In Pennsylvania, there have long been rumors of a wild man or Bigfoot-like monster. But it wasn't until a huge footprint was found in the 1980s that Johnstown, a little city an hour east of Pittsburgh, became the center of attention. A photograph of the footprint, measuring 17.75 by 7 inches, was distributed by the Associated Press. It appeared to be a right foot, either of someone or something. It also had six instead of five toes, and the second imprint of the left foot was discovered eight feet from the right print. Soon after, neighbors nearby mentioned that there had been an odd odor in the region. Additionally, they asserted that they had heard strange noises the previous evening. Two occurrences that had long been recognized as Bigfoot-related facts. The case was so unusual and newsworthy that the Associated Press covered it. It has never been solved or debunked as a joke. Man, this one sounds scary, no? Number 3. Bigfoot Sighting in Washington's Blue Mountain Paul Freeman was a veteran U.S. Forest Service patrolman who was also a devoted expert on cryptozoology. Perhaps, for this reason, some people have questioned the legitimacy of his startling Bigfoot encounter in 1982. But then Freeman made his most exciting discovery more than a decade later. In 1994, while taking a usual stroll in the same forested area, he came upon what appeared to be two Bigfoots attending for their young. He was carrying a camera this time. Despite being jerky and blurry, the Bigfoot specialists claim that the footage is authentic. Skeptics have referred to Freeman's history as a self-made cryptozoologist. As unbelievable as Freeman's find may seem, others estimate that between 1982 and 2000, 50 and 75 Bigfoot tracks were discovered in the Blue Mountains. Number 2. Mississippi Bigfoot While Josh Highcliffe a citizen of Mississippi, was hunting on his land in 2013. He obtained video of what may have been a Bigfoot. You can see a large, dark figure moving around a tree in the video. It appears to be a bear at first glance without a doubt. When it initially appeared, just like you, we also thought it was a bear. However, it eventually stands. Of course, that is the same time Josh Highcliffe flees, so there is only a quick glimpse of its humanoid shape. Because he was afraid to go back into the woods, he uploaded the video to YouTube and asked for assistance in identifying the animal or for someone to come forward and claim responsibility for the prank. What would you do if someone pulls such pranks? Number 1. Bigfoot spotted on a Washington State webcam A perplexing image captured by a Washington State webcam less than 100 kilometers from the British Columbia border has at least one person wondering if it is of the mysterious Bigfoot. The Washington State Department of Transportation posted several images from a webcam near the Sherman Pass that showed a human-shaped figure in front of a tree in the snow. 
Sherman Pass is around 70 kilometers 43 miles, south of Grand Forks, which can be reached in about an hour by car, but will take Bigfoot about 14 hours to trek. There have been several reports of Sasquatch and other mystery lake creatures, like the Ogopogo and Shuswagi in the Pacific Northwest, which includes Washington State and British Columbia. What do you think then? Could it be a Sasquatch or just a weirdly formed shadow? And this concludes Just Gotta Watch's Top 10 Bigfoot Sightings. Thanks for watching.